That's the gate. Hey, I am underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Please come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. Of water, probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters, <clears throat> no, too deep. <clears throat> Shit. Otherwise, I'll never reach the surface. Visibility. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Considered opinion? Fucked. Novik? If the radio is still receiving... Oh, damn! Oh, either the radio broke or I'm in too deep. Maybe if I tweak the damn thing. I hear you. But you don't. Apparently. Oh, bollocks. I think I prefer it the other way around. Okay. I'm coming to you, Astrogator.
Astrogator. Astrogator? <sighs> Still nothing. I used to find all the reporting annoying. But the silence is even worse. Dark thoughts creep in. Dr. Gorski may already be dead. Something attacked me, and it, it could have got to him too. I hope you're monitoring his vitals, Astrogator, and we'll come back for him. Unless I die here. I think it's his way. Stop. Did you really say that? I think I'm starting to freak out. I've had enough. Just enough. Okay, forward. Faster. We're racing against time, Yasna. We're fighting for our lives. Enough of this nonsense. I can't keep fighting. Your timing is perfect, as usual. Any more advice? Huh, I thought so. You know, I did what I could. But it still wasn't enough. I have the right to finally give up. No. Not yet. I will not give up. I'll just... take a breather. Two days, 48 hours. Huh? What? I could also break all the rules. Of course, you wouldn't let me die in peace. I still don't know if I can do it. All right. Somehow, it'll work. <sighs> I did it. I did it, Astrogator. Too bad you can't hear me. I don't believe my eyes. Oh, bones of some prehistoric reptile. And coal deposits, I assume. Oh, finally, we have proof. <laughs> there was life on the surface of Regis III. Millions of years ago. But for some reason, now there's nothing. Not even bacteria or, or viruses. Gorski mentioned that Lyra Zeta was Nova. And yet, we've ruled out hard radiation. Anyway, over these millions of years, evolution would move forwards again. However, someone or something is preventing life from moving ashore.
You never seem to get tired, Novik. discover if I'm stuck here unless HQ sends another expedition then they will find those bones along with mine tricks on me. I don't know. Me too. What if something's waiting out there for me? Something that caused my fall? No. Don't hesitate. I will die if I stay here. A way out. Astrogator. I'm close. I... I'm here. Over. Finally! Yes, you can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir, I've heard you all the way. Yes, sir. Are you saying what? Uh, I don't quite understand myself. All right. Let's leave that to you. Are you injured in any way? Uh, no. like a machine. It burned a hole in the wall. And now it's marching on these kind of crab legs. Damn. You must evacuate immediately. It sounds like you know what it is, sir. No, I have my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. You're fucking kidding me, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not. Any progress? I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Regis 3, they would have a huge advantage. I can see a passage. But it doesn't look very inviting. Oh, anyway. Shit! I'm still here. I have to. I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, it's coming at me. Sir. It's gonna crush. 
crush me. I've got nowhere to run. I'm gonna die here after all. for good. Huh. I found a box. Also a switch. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. You guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a fill base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible is not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. Distracted the antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence. I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. I'm sorry, Asna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. down. Are you talking about the probe call? <sighs> well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Oh, not good. I simply don't get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings... No. You don't have to finish. I understand. You 
did what you could. No. I did what I thought was right. Come on, Doctor. He didn't die due to lack of oxygen. He bled out, might be from the fall. Enough! I've heard enough. By the way, how long have we been out? It's the longest 20 minutes of my life. Give or take. Interesting. For me, it passed so quickly. I said, oh, damn it. The storm's getting worse. Inside either. Uh, the equipment looks on damage, though. Are you sure? Please take a look around. It's clear. But no one's coming out with me. I'm all alone. Is that disappointment I hear? Not disappointment, but tiredness. Are you surprised? No, not at all. I understand why. I could have helped him after all. What? What are you talking about? I could have left him that fucking tank. Another one was just around the corner. <laughs> what a cool joke. Ha! Ah, the engine started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Exceptions, you know, such as the windshields shattering at high voltages, doesn't stress me out at all. I remember a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator, but the crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, uh, engineer, and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation, and we the rocket dead and we put it back together. <laughs> so whatever was on hand, it's quite a machine. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of evil. Oh, wait. Creatures? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit.
Damn it. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how far am I from the city's border? Uh, considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse... You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. I found a place to hide. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch a breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmet 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bigger. Emmet's so equipped with a black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, they must have changed the equipment because I have no information about the key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Eureka! Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And uh, presto. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <sighs> same guts, hey? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can find me rest. It'll take me a while to dig through all the records. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the flight? Uh, most probably. No one is transmitting from the base. I'd suggest you lie down. The storm's raging. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? If we talk, 
Maybe I'll finally fall asleep. Naturally. Have anything specific in mind? Yes, actually. I wasn't able to report it earlier, but I found fossils underground. Fossils? Based on my brief observations, they belong to lizard-like creatures. I didn't imagine them, did I? I don't know. It felt real. Why don't I try to find some confirmation in the Alliance data? For now, let's talk about something else. Instead of getting ahead of ourselves. A more light-hearted subject, perhaps. May I ask why you became an astronaut? There are two answers to this question. An honest one? and a uh, personal lie. To give you the clearest picture of the truth, I have to tell you both. I'm all ears. As cadets, we participated in a series of meetings. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all wanted to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. Remembering childhood memories when we first heard about that brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Every astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that. But my reason, an honest reason, not a nice sounding memory that never happened. And I've never been able to find my place. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here, in space. Although I never dreamed of exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It's among my crew that I've... Wait, Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and the encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Next is... Yasna? Oh, I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. And let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. I'm going then. No need for further delay. Agreed. I'll let you know when I'm out of the city for good. Astrogator, I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. The city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? 
Yes, yes, please excuse me. As in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Hm. Have you checked on Koval by any chance? Yes, among other things. And? How is he? He's stable. But? There are no buts, Doctor. You'll see him soon. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. Like I said, it looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. So that's how it's gonna end. Half our crew is dead, and I'm running with my tail between my legs. Not all missions are successful, Doctor. At this stage, we have to save whatever we can. We have to save you. You understand that, don't you? I wasn't keen on this mission from the start. We were supposed to return a long time ago, and that's what I want. I want all of us to return home, dead or alive. Please remember, we have just one lander left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other tasks. about to head out to the desert area. Has a lander taken off? Yes, a second ago. Threshold of 18,000. <sighs> the line's breaking up. C can you hear me? What's happening? I've lost control of the ladder. Do you see it? Uh, just a sec. I have to get off. <sighs> it, it hasn't yet pierced a cloud cover. Oh no. Uh, flying too fast. It's going to shatter. Yes, sir. Status. What's the lander's condition? I, I don't know. All I see is a thick plume of smoke. But considering the speed it hit the ground at, I, I. I don't understand how it happened. I checked it thoroughly. It was fully functional. Couldn't have been an accident. I don't believe it. I'm gonna check what's left of it. with you. I don't give a shit about your orders, sir. Can you hear me, Novik? I don't give a shit. 
You finished, Doctor? Did it help? A bit. still looks active. Ask him what happened to the lander. Ask? He doesn't speak. But he gives yes or no signals. Give him the analysis command. Formulate questions in such a way so that he can confirm or deny. Artie, question analysis command. Did an enemy missile hit Hopper? Uh, no. It wasn't a missile. Maybe it's a storm? Some error. Apparently, he can't give a definitive answer. Damn! I shorted out. So, what now? Then you must go to the Alliance camp. I wanted to avoid it at all costs, but we have no choice. This is your only chance. It's all their fault. It must have been them from the very beginning. I have no doubts now. Neither do I. However, they might be willing to negotiate if you voluntarily place yourself in their hands. They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, now. Yes? The Alliance is really behind all this. They might expect visitors. You should try to find out if they're planning anything for your arrival. First, observe them from a distance. Only then take action. In my opinion, all this secrecy misses a point. When they shot down our lander, they took away my last chance to escape this planet. Now I must put myself in their hands and politely answer all questions. I'm painfully aware of that, but you can be rash or wise about it. The more we learn about them, the more advantage it will give us in further negotiations. Sorry, but what advantage... Hey! What was that? I've set up a warning signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. The base is in front of me. Yes, sir, I'm not kidding. If you don't stop, I'll do it for you. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? For me? I wonder how... It's a field base. Multi-module for about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. There's lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding in modules. Most of them for sure, but I'd be surprised if they didn't assign anyone to guard duty. Just one? For now, yes. Is that all? I think so. Then please keep going. You can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a waste of time. 
Judging by your observation, this is a research camp, not a military one, which increases your chance of survival and decreases the likelihood of detecting the dragonfly. I don't know about you, but this is a valuable piece of information for me. Remember one thing. I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. At worst, you'll give away the details of our last mission. Astrogator, you're forgetting that I want to talk to them. As one human to another, not as enemies. I hope you're right, Doctor. But even if we disregard decades of mutual enmity, we must keep in mind human nature. Homo homini lupus. Just because you want to talk to them doesn't mean they'll listen. I'd rather expect they'll be asking the questions and you'll be answering them. What? There's no one here. Nobody. Impossible. Even if there aren't many of them in the camp, someone would have noticed you. I'm not blind, sir. I'm going. What have I got to lose anyway? Your life, Doctor. <sighs> I'm going in. Clear. Now? I can't hear anyone either. I'm at the central module, in the headquarters. You walked in, just like that? Yeah, the doors were open. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. I'm at the control station. Several units can be controlled from here. I wonder which. I got the feed. But I can't get it to move. It's got a weak signal. Must be too far away. One is a flying unit. Some sort of probe. Flying over the base? Correct. Can you extract data from it? Sure. Never too much data, especially in the current situation. I just need to find a place to land it. I landed the probe. Gonna check it in the spare moment. Um. 
I'm entering the next module. I guess it's a biolab. Still... nothing. Images from this area. If it's been flying long enough, it may store important information. Maybe they went back to the Invincible. If something in this base or near it was a critical threat to them. Have you seen any signs of a struggle? Damaged equipment? No, not at all. The equipment looks like it was used quite recently. Unfortunately, apart from my arrival, the probe didn't record much. So it's been flying only recently? I think so. The silhouette I saw. Yes? It's just a robot. Nothing's changed, Astrogator. Understood. The scientists excavated some animal remains and reconstructed their hypothetical appearance. I found similar remains underground, right after finding Gorski. I wasn't sure if it was my imagination or not. Now there's no doubt. So long, long ago, reptilian organisms roamed the surface of Regis III. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, Including dates. I'm all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ 28. The Invincible? What? They didn't move it? Huh, seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. On the 24th day, that they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh, to the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him? In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. Maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Oh, surely they could detect him. Ah, they... they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision.
Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator. They must be somewhere. Or if they had something to hide. That might explain their urgency. Ditching all that equipment. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. I like how they became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Hmm. Quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found... You won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of works when we were still in orbit. They've got a device for intercepting alarm signals. There isn't much of it. Single record. Poor guy. He's dead. Awaited help for over a day. Critically low blood saturation. He died of hypoxia. At the time of his death, he was... Biasna, is it necessary? This information will no longer Somewhere help near anyone. the city. One, eight, five, six, one... Seven, five, four. Yes, it's Gorski. I'm sorry. You... You lied to me. You lied how he died. I knew you would blame yourself. Well, of course I do. I could have saved him. Left him that fucking tank. Why didn't you let me? I made the right decision, Yasna. Given the circumstances and our knowledge at the time, there was a high risk your sacrifice would kill you both. Fuck. We let him die. No, Yasna. As I said, I made the call, not you. It would be easier to think so, but I can't. One more thing. I realize we still need to work together. So I'll submit my reports as usual. But that doesn't mean everything's fine. Understood, Doctor. I appreciate your professionalism. <sighs> One's unavailable. Probably out of reach. Or they took it. Fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Oh, we're lucky. Clouds are low. Moving on. It's still quiet. Fortunately, the ship's not here. Neither there, 
Oh. Are you still looking? Mm -hmm. Not here either. Ah, bingo. Yes? Found it. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. Good to know. Thank you. I'm leaving the base, going after the convoy. Down you go, oh bright sun, time to let the night in. For my legs are heavy, and the field is not inviting. My legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Down you go, oh bright sun. Night is not that scary. Hide behind the dark woods. Oh, we're running barefoot. Okay, so one of the robots moved away from the perimeter. It stands all by itself, on a distant hill. It's active, I guess. Doesn't it know how to get back? Do you think it's worth investigating? I, I guess everything's worth investigating now. I've driven into a side location. They were very active here too. Obtaining research material from the walls surrounding the valley. Cutting out blocks of rock. Were they performing geological research? Not necessarily. In these blocks, there are inorganic objects. Solid, metal, sharp-edged lumps. Everything's all right? Yes, yes. 
I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. You're damn right something new. A saucer. If it's operational, it could be my chance to leave this planet. Yes, it can work. I'll assist you if needed. I'm climbing it. I really hope it starts. I'm inside. Engines are functional. There's a vertical thrust. Hey, that's a good sound. This could actually work. Okay. Time to take off. So far, so good. Saucer's in takeoff position. Are you able to increase altitude? I'm checking. What's going on? The warning lights are activating and the source is not lifting at all. That doesn't necessarily mean anything bad. Ascension requires maximum power. Just give the engine some time. Okay. Let's check the controls. Everything's fine here. It steers smoothly. Perspective to see the same terrain from above. I can see the entire riverbed. <laughs> it's clear now that the water used to flow here. It shaped these slopes. Hey, 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 hey! What are you? Didn't do anything. The, the saucer suddenly dropped and crashed into the ground. Oh, shit! The generator cover must have cracked open. Evacuate immediately. There's no chance it'll fly again. It's a good thing it failed this way. It could have been considerably worse. So much for hope. Don't worry. This is just one of their saucers. I'm sure you'll find another fully functional. Time seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You sound tired, Jasna. <laughs> because I am tired, Astrogator.
Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. My opinion, it's a bit excessive. Oh, well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. Two modules were placed nearby. The first one looks residential. Traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist? I must admit it's an interesting thought, and quite disturbing. There's also a couple of smaller cranes here. In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They have big machines. Bigger than ours. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. It stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. How far to that convoy? Oh, not far. Even if I make a few stops, it won't take long. The excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database. Taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside... There's a structure, yes, a metal one, similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground.
Astrogator, I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine, to be precise. I see. Can I count on a tactical report? Of course. A simple analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm. That's for sure. I'm nearing the destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yes, now be careful. Of radiation. Of other people. Just watch yourself. Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. <sighs> I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh no, Astrogator, they're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their base, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed them? Just what the hell? Oh, another hole, great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. What do we have here? They were preparing. 
preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here, sending a probe. Tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. Spare me your concern. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Cut. Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Astrocator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate, instead of protecting. What happens next? The second Antimat, that's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them, one by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. So Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan coming at me. Ah, carrying something. Ah. I got out. Well, to inside a cave. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah! Oh. I don't feel too. 
My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasta. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. And why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. Metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, let's put it, fruitless. <laughs> so the Alliance came to pick the fruits. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Little bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah. That's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasna? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. So similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... Looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... Grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous. Especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore.
robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. Oh, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh. I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. of successful missions. Are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimat? He decided not to shoot me after all. <sighs> Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So... If I may, I would suggest watching your next steps. Uh, th there were no more anti-mats on the slides, sir. I'm afraid that's not the only threat around, aren't you? Of course I am. But I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. How we can aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors... I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? <laughs> 